Good day, learners. I am Miss Tin, your guru Kamigo. Today, we are going to talk about reproductive system and plants. This lesson is intended for you to describe the plant reproductive system responsible for the process, specifically sexual reproduction. The different activities that you will encounter in this lesson will lead you to understand how different parts of the plants functions in producing their own kind. Like animals, plants are also capable of reproduction. They reproduce in many ways. In general, plants exhibit both sexual and asexual reproduction. New plants can be produced through seeds and different parts, like stem, leaves, and roots. These are the reasons why you can see plants anywhere, especially in the forest where they get good physical condition. Flower is an accessory organ of the plants used in sexual reproduction. It can be classified as complete and incomplete. A flower is said to be complete when it has both male and female reproductive parts. On the other hand, it is incomplete when it has only one reproductive part, either male or female. Let us now study what are the different parts of a complete flower. Receptacle It is the thickened stem part attached to the peduncle and it is where the flower or group of flowers grows. Sepals encloses and protects the upper parts of the flower, especially when the flower is still a bud. Sepals are considered modified leaves, which means they have a special function. A flower has always a collection of sepal called calyx. Petals form the most obvious part of a flower. Most petals are brightly colored to attract insects for pollination. A group of petals is called corolla. Stamen is the male part of a flower. It consists of the filament and the anther. The filament holds the anther in a position tall enough to release the pollen. The anther consists of two lobes that contain pollen sacs. Pollen sacs have pollen grains that are released by the anther when they mature. Pistil It is the female part of a flower. It consists of the stigma, style, and ovary. The style is an elongated part of the flower that supports and connects the stigma to the ovary. It extends to the height where the stigma can collect and trap pollen grains. The stigma is a swollen structure at the end of the style. It receives the pollen grains. The mature stigma secretes a fluid that stimulates the pollen grains to germinate. Try to look at again the diagram about the parts of a flower. Grade 5 learners, let us learn more about the different ways of plant reproduction. Plant sexual reproduction happens when pollen grains are transferred from the anthers into the stigmas. The transfer of the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma is called pollination. Pollination is usually brought about by wind, insects, or birds. Animals and other agents that aid in sexual reproduction of plants are called agents of pollination. There are two kinds of pollination. We have self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination 
It is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or of a different flower that belongs to the same plant. Cross-pollination It is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of another flower that belongs to another plant but of the same kind. Cross-pollination is the most common form of pollination. Once a pollen grain enters the stigma, it swells and grows a long tube that travels through the style until it reaches the ovary. The tube releases the sperm cells into the ovule to fertilize the egg cell. The fertilized egg cell and the ovule itself develops into a seed. The ovary then enlarges and thickens its walls to become a fruit. This will be the receptacle for the seeds. These seeds can eventually grow into new plants. Let's have some fun and do this activity. In your notebook, draw a complete flower and label its parts. I hope you're done with your activity. Refer in this figure to check your work. Now it's time for the next activity. Identify the concept being described in each item. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. This is a type of reproduction in plants where the male and female parts of the flowers are involved. Sexual, stamen, stigma. Very good! The correct answer is sexual. It is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of another flower that belongs to another plant but of the same kind. Self-pollination, cross-pollination, stigma. Great job! The answer is cross-pollination. It is the male part of the flower. Anther, pistil, stamen. Excellent! The answer is stamen. It consists of two lobes that contain pollen sacs and pollen grains. Calyx, anther, Filament Very good! The answer is anther. It refers to the collective term for sepals of a flower. Corolla Calyx Ophiol Excellent! The answer is calyx. It is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or a different flower that belongs to the same plant. Self-pollination, sexual, cross-pollination. Great job! The answer is self-pollination. It is the female part of the flower. Ovule, style, pistil. Excellent! The answer is pistil. It refers to all the petals together. Stigma, 
Corolla Filament Great job! The answer is Corolla. It is the thickened stem part attached to the peduncle and it is where the flower or group of flowers grows. Pistil, Anter, Receptacle Very good! The answer is Receptacle. It is a swollen structure at the end of a style. Stigma, stamen, pistil. Excellent! The answer is stigma. Remember, a complete flower has the following parts. Receptacle, sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils. There are two kinds of pollination, self-pollination and cross-pollination. That's all for today. I hope you had a great time learning in Science 5. Thank you for watching. See you next time.